Hey ISTPs, I have a question. How are you able to just somehow instinctively know when something is wrong and what could be wrong and how we could fix it, right? What I see with ISTPs is you seem to have this really high ability to diagnose and spot problems and issues easily. So if I bring up a new idea, you immediately see what the weak points of this idea is. And if I have this problem that's been happening to me, then you somehow know what we could do to test it, how we could figure out what's going on, and how we could fix it. And so this kind of ability is really, really impressive to me. It's impressive to me how you're not just good at troubleshooting and diagnosing, but it's also impressive to me how you're able to spot pros and cons of anything and strengths and weaknesses to any idea. And so if I ask you what the strengths and weaknesses are for a certain political proposal or for a certain decision, you could say, well, it's good with this, it could help with that, it could be useful for this, but also it could be bad because of that, and because of this, and because of that. And often these are things that I don't even see or notice. And so to me, that's really impressive. And so ISTP, something that I notice in you is this really amazing ability for visual spatial tasks. And so this is something you might not even have thought of, but you know, if I tell you something, a lot of the time ISTPs are really good at getting an image of something in their head. And so to imagine what might it look like, how might it look? And so if I ask you to recall something from your past experiences or something that happened to you, most ISTPs can do that very easily, can spin that in their head and can, you know, look at it and go like, oh yeah, so that's how it looked and that's what it did and that's how it worked. And especially this seems to be true when it comes down to processes because ISTPs seem to have an amazing memory for processes, which means that often if I teach an ISTP how to do a task or if you learn a set of the instructions, you're going to remember that really quickly. And ISTPs seem to learn to implement and use and access these processes really easily. And this comes down to anything from cooking to fixing things. As long as it's a step-by-step -step process, as long as it's clear with instructions, for an ISTP, it's a piece of cake. It's something you know from the back of your head. Oh yeah, of course you need that kind of thing for fixing that. And of course it needs to be five minutes. Of course it needs to work that way. And here it's something else that I notice, and it's, you know, fine motor coordination. So one thing I notice with the uh, ISTPs is this bodily kinesthetic intelligence, right? And how does that transfer? Well, it can translate to athletic ability. It doesn't have to. Not all ISTPs are athletic. But one thing I do notice with ISTPs is most of them have really good finer motor skills, which means also good finger dexterity, which means also a strong ability to, you know, do a task correctly. If you have to use your hands or your body to solve a problem, usually you know how to navigate it, you know how to do it right. And so if I tell you, you know, to learn a new trick, to get, throw a basketball in a hoop, right, or how to master a certain task, typically ISTPs are really good at doing that really quickly and they seem to really, really enjoy it too. And there is parts of this that I think are really important to highlight. And it's, uh, first of all, high levels of reflective traits, right? So ISTPs seem to be really reflective, really conscientious, really methodical. For an ISTP, it seems really important to get things right. So ISTPs seem to really care about, you know, did I do it right? Did I make any mistakes? Was there anything I could have done better? And this allows you to do things very efficiently. On top of that, what I see with ISTPs is typically ISTPs are quite adaptable, which means that, you know, no matter what I throw an ISTP, they'll pick it up, you know, like I like it was nothing, you know. I, I throw a ball at them, they're, they're ready for it, they know it's gonna happen, and they're gonna pick it up, and they're gonna be able to, you know, do something with it, right? And beyond that kind of flexibility, you know, which allows you to really work well on the go, you know, when problems happen, when you're in the moment, when you're on the go, and things go wrong, you know, ISTPs are pretty good at, you know, being like, oh, that's no problem, that's no biggie, I can fix that, I can take care of that, it's gonna work out, you know, like, when a lot of people worry to death, you know, what if that happens, what if that goes wrong, you know, what if this comes up, ISTPs, they're like, that's no biggie, we just fix it, right? And here, it's another superpower for ISTPs, is their level of detachment, their ability to detach from a task and think of it from a third-person perspective, right? So what I see ISTPs do that is really incredible to me is 
you know, they look at it from a third person perspective, from a neutral point of view. They don't look at it from their personal experiences. They might not like it or they might like it, you know, but they'll try to judge and evaluate my ideas based on their logical criteria, right? Does it actually work? What are the pros and cons? What, in what way does it work? How can it work the best way possible for, in a general frame or from an objective point of view? As objective as possible. And so, on top of that, what I see with ISTPs is this really applied style, right? So, while a lot of people get lost in theories and speculation of, but then we could do that, or we could go there, or we could go to that place, we could do this. Typically, ISTPs, they know what's possible. They know what's realistic. They know, well, actually, this is what I want to do. This is the thing that sounds good. Or this is the thing I want to like to take care of, you know? And it's this applied style of, you know, knowing how to take it plan and make it a reality, knowing the step-in-step -step process of how to do it in the moment and knowing how to implement something, you know. There's people that spend 10 years thinking about doing something, but when an ISTP has an idea, they just go and do it, right? Like, it's so, yeah, I'll do that, yeah, it's, I'll start tomorrow, you know, I'll do this and this and this. It's gonna be easy peasy, right? And they're, you know, that's probably, yeah some of the most impressive things about ISTPs. Was there something in particular that you find really impressive about ISTPs? And if so, let me know in the comments down below. If you know an ISTP or if you're an ISTP yourself, don't be afraid to toot your own horn for a second and say, yeah, actually, I'm quite good at that. So, yeah, that's the ISTP for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.